Are you looking for the best steel toe boots for welding? In this video, we will look at some of the 7 best steel toe boots on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Caterpillar Men's Second Shift. I don't think I've ever met a welder that hasn't owned a pair of these boots. The Cat Second Shift is truly a classic among work boots, and there's more than one reason for that. As Caterpillar puts it, this is a no-nonsense boot. It has a classic work boot design that never gets old, and can even be worn as a fashion detail. They're made of full-grain leather which serves as great protection against the most common welding hazards such as spark and spatter. However, the leather is quite soft so the toe of the boots will rip after a few months of heavy use. Yet, the boots are very protective and super durable. The T3 rubber sole is slip and shock resistant, and it also meets the ASTM standard for electrical hazard protection. The inside of the sole features a steel shank that will keep you stable on your feet yet agile enough because it's flexible. On the top of the outsoles, there's a Goodyear welt construction that significantly increases the durability of the boots. The inside of the boots is also well made. There's a breathable Climosphere insole plus a removable polyurethane footbed on top of it. The footbed is not the most comfortable one you can find, so many workers replace it with a more comfortable gel insole. The nylon mesh inner lining is not only very soft to the touch, but it also has moisture wicking properties to release the sweat from the boots. Between the inner lining and the steel toe cap, there are a few protective layers that will keep your toes from rubbing against it. The steel cap passes the ASDM standard for impact and compression to keep your toes safe in any situation. What's really important about steel toe is that it leaves plenty of room, even for those with extra wide feet. A minor issue about the second shift boots are the laces. They don't last long when exposed to sparks, so you might consider keeping an extra pair in your shop, as well as in your toolbox. I've personally destroyed an almost brand new lace just from grinding. I then wrapped a wire around the boot to keep it on for the rest of the day. This is really an insignificant drawback, considering that these boots might last a few years, mine lasted three. Number 2. Iron Age Men's Ground Breaker. This is probably the best pair of safety boots for the money. The ground breakers only cost around $100, but they're worth much more, definitely more than most high-end shoe brands. The uppers are made entirely from full-grain leather, including the metatarsal guard. Although the leather is not very waterproof, it will hold up against all hazards that come with welding. The overall construction of these welding boots shouts toughness. The leather pieces are sewn together with Kevlar stitching and so is the Goodyear welt construction. The rubber soles are made to be heat, oil, and slip resistant, but they're also soft enough to increase the overall comfort of the boots. The inner part of the soles features a spongy heel because that's the part that absorbs the most pressure. The EVA footbed is another detail of this work boot that's meant to increase comfort. It's also removable in case you want to change it for a gel insole, which seems to be a common occurrence. Some users have reported that this isn't the most uncomfortable footbed out there and that it could use some improvement. On the upside, the breathable nylon mesh lining has moisture wicking properties, so sweat will be released out to keep your feet dry. The steel toe cap meets the ASDM F2413 standard for impact and compression, so your toes will be safe. Your metatarsal bones will also be safe from falling objects because of the met guard which covers most of the boot. Something to keep an eye on before buying these boots is the sizing. Most people claim that the size runs a bit big, so you should consider ordering one size smaller than usual. Number 3. Thoroughgood American Heritage 6 Mot Toe. This is probably the best looking work boot money can buy. Once you're done working, you can just wipe them off and go out for dinner in them, although, you should probably change your clothes and socks first. The classic mock toe style not only looks great, but it makes the boots very durable, too. The thick thread it's sewn with is very tough and will make this pair of work boots last quite a long time. The boots are made with full grain leather which is not waterproof but works great against sparks, spatter, and other hazards that come with welding. The comfortable MAX wear outsoles are made to be slip resistant and will also protect you from electrical hazards. Inside the sole is a fiberglass shank to keep you stable on your feet, 
while providing enough flexibility to give you freedom of movement. The outsoles and uppers are connected with a Goodyear weld construction which really extends the life of these welding boots. Comfort is a key feature of the American Heritage boots. The shock-absorbing footbed lays on top of a cushioned pour-on insole, so you feel like you're walking on clouds. Although there's a steel toe cap inside the boots, you'll never notice that while wearing them. Between the steel cap and your feet are a few protective layers that make sure your toes don't rub against the steel. The stitching is also of high quality. The leather is triple stitched in the most crucial areas and should last for a long time. Another feature I love is that the tongue and the eyelet strips are made from one piece of leather. This means that no sparks of flying debris can get through and injure your foot. If you're still not convinced about the quality of these welding work boots, you should know that they're made in the USA by union workers. All those features come at a price, however. And not a very low price, but if you consider that these boots will probably outlast most boots you can find on the market and that they're made using ethical labor policies, I think they're worth every penny. There is one other small issue besides the price. The laces they come with aren't the most durable laces you can find, especially when working with fire hazards, as happens to be the case with welding. Number 4. Timberland Pro Men's 40,000. This is a pair of truly heavy-duty work boots. Timberland's Pro line is made for the working folk, and these boots prove that. The tough Everguard leather they're made of is waterproof but also heat and abrasion resistant. But most of the boot is protected with the ABS metatarsal guard which will wick off any water, sparks, or spatter that could potentially ruin your boots. Most importantly though, the metatarsal guard will protect your foot from any pipes, rods, or hammers that you probably drop quite frequently, as we all do. This Metguard steel toe boot has other great features, too. The rubber outsole is heat, slip, oil and abrasion resistant to keep you safe on your feet, no matter the circumstance. It also meets the ASTM F2413-11 safety standard for electrical hazard protection. The steel toe cap conforms to the ASTM standard for impact and compression. Inside the soles is a steel shank that will improve your stability, but is flexible enough for you to move around freely. The outsoles are connected to the uppers with a Goodyear welt construction that's been sewn with fireproof Kevlar thread which makes the Timberland Pro 40,000 the perfect welding work boots. And they don't lack comfort either. The outsole is not the only part designed for a soft, comfortable step, the open cell polyurethane footbed will conform to your foot and its antimicrobial cover will let your feet breathe. Alas, it seems like nothing can be perfect. Some users have reported the seams that hold the MetGuard to break open after only a few months. However, it seems that this happens from real heavy-duty, outdoor construction work. And it doesn't seem to happen all that often, so it looks like it's another case of faulty items ending up in someone's hands. Number 5. Keen Utility Men's Milwaukee 6. These full-grain leather heavy-duty work boots seem to justify their high-end price. The Keen Milwaukee Steel Toe Work Boots are made to provide you with maximum safety while minimizing the never-ending impacts on your feet while working. They are made from a combination of leather, rubber, steel, and thermoplastic polyurethane, a combination that promises a lot of heavy-duty working hours. The uppers are made from abrasion-resistant Tuftec leather where high-quality metal lace hooks are knitted in. The two uppermost eyelets play a crucial role in forming great uniform stability that will protect your feet constantly, even in the most severe conditions. The dark brown leather is glued on top of slip-resistant soles that will keep your feet safe and stable even if you are welding the ship's anchor chain while rocking and rolling in high seas. An interesting fact about the Milwaukee Steel Toe Work Boot is that it doesn't have a steel shank, but a TPU stability shank that gives it a lightweight feeling. The inner part is made from fabric that will enable good breathing and a removable metatomical dual-density EVA footbed for maximum comfort. The most prominent feature, however, is the above-mentioned comfortability. The shape of the boot is suitable even for those with chubby feet. As I've said before, nothing is perfect. Some users have experienced fast wear out of the bottom part of the outsole, but for welders, this should not be a problem if most of the work is done inside the workshop. From my personal experience, an experience filled with a lot of fortunate accidents that would have become unfortunate if I didn't have a boot with these foot-saving characteristics, I would definitely recommend these. Number 6. Ariat Groundbreaker Wide Square. 
I've said this before and I'll say it again, I love cowboy boots. Ariat is one of the classics when it comes to cowboy boots. They're actually the first brand to apply athletic shoe technology to equestrian boots and you can feel that when you spend long hours working on your feet. Comfort is a key feature of this pair of welding boots. The insole is made with Ariat's trademark 4-layer rebound technology for a very cushioned step. The addition of a cushioned EVA midsole makes the groundbreaker some of the most comfortable work boots money can buy. Ariat's Duratred outsole is another incredible feature. It will give you that extra grip when stepping on metal or any slippery or oily surface for that matter. Besides, the outsole is very durable and abrasion resistant, and that significantly increases the life of the boots. The heels were designed with the working man in mind. They are ideal for climbing ladders while keeping you light and stable on your feet. The uppers are made from very durable full-grain leather that will keep you protected from typical hazards such as sparks and spatter. The shafts feature a classic embroidered cowboy design which makes these, not just welding boots, but something you can feel comfortable wearing on any occasion. And, they are proper welding boots. The steel toe cap passes the ASTM F2413-11 safety standards. You wouldn't even notice from looking at these boots, but the steel toe is quite wide, with plenty of room for your toes. However, there's the minor issue of the break-in period. The boots should feel a bit tight when you first try them on, but they will conform to your foot after a couple of weeks, providing a comfortable, snug fit. The other issue that may occur is wearing out of the leather that covers the steel toe, the tip of the boots. A smart solution would be applying a protective coating like tough toe. Number 7. Wolverine Men's Floor Hand Waterproof 1-0. Wolverine is a brand that's been on the market for almost 140 years. All that experience really shows in the overall quality of these steel toe welding boots. The uppers are made of waterproof, full-grain leather, and they're glued on top of rubber, slip-resistant soles. There's more to the outsoles than just being slip-resistant, they're also abrasion, oil, and electricity-resistant. They're connected to the uppers with a Goodyear welt which significantly extends the life of the boots. Inside the soles, there's a nylon shank which increases the durability while providing proper flexibility. The cushioned footbed really molds to your foot to provide comfort with every step. If for some reason you don't like the footbed, you can just replace it with another one because it's removable. The inner lining of these welding work boots is made of moisture-wicking mesh fabric to keep your feet dry. The steel toe cap meets the ASDM F2413-11 safety standard to guarantee the safety of your toes. Still, you might forget that you're wearing a pair of work boots because the steel cap leaves plenty of room for your toes. However, there seems to be a recurring issue with the lining. A few users have reported it ripping apart after only a few months. It doesn't seem like it's something that's guaranteed to happen, but it's still something to keep an eye on.